स्पीकिंग that jada binivesh that material uh, whatever kind of material attraction we are having whatever kind of different material anartha which we are having inside our heart that heart chit in bonded condition different different kind of problems are coming in our life when our chit is not at all in our control then each and every point that kind of vipad will come in his life problems will come definitely that's why prabhu is speaking that all those nijijan and eternal bashad of bhagwan that all pure guru vaishnav on to their lotus feet that kind of without atma samarpan that uh, this sansar rupi uh, death you cannot get out of that material death you cannot get protected by that that all the eternal parshad of bhagwan that is pure guru vishnu on to the lotus feet just with full atma nivedan bhav without that without atma nivedan on to the lotus feet that kind of material death you cannot get out of that at all that uh, guru pad padma and pure guru vishnu that those who are all those who are worshipable even for bhagwan also bhagwan is worshiping all those pure guru vishnu and guru vishnu in a very fine form that bhajan that bhajan procedure and seva mood for their worshipable object is bhagwan only that kind of complete object uh, seva with serving mood which all the time serving them that is called pure guru vishnu those who are serving bhagwan that complete tatva in toto and whatever this material world that all those so called gurus of this material world that those gurus don't have don't have any kind of value at all they are valueless that in bhagwat ji mahapuran also one shloka is there maybe you just have heard that shloka that i have also just discussed this shloka a lot of time ट those who can't protect me from this uh, word death that guru is not guru that friend is not my friend that father is not my father that my mother is not my that mother and that that demigod is not demigod that that uh, husband is not uh, that husband who can protect me from this uh, so called word death 
that who can't uh, protect me from this uh, material death conception at all those who cannot protect me uh, from this uh, uh, ocean of death that is actually called guru vishnu only they can protect us from this word death that when all the people all jeevas are going into agyan that is actually called death because this word death actually in actual it is not at all there this word death at all in the shastras yesterday i was also discussing in bangla hari katha to death means that previous connection when you are losing completely and you will just completely lost your present consciousness and new, according to your new karm fall according to that action you will be taking a new subtle body and you just need to move forward according to that new body you will get when the all those material people are in this material agyan then it is actually called in gita also bhagwan actually speaking regarding this word death also in order to explain the word death udhare atmana atmanam na atman nahi va avshad apne ko that you are yourself thinking that in order to in order to save yourself on your own that is not at all possible isko girne nahi that he don't need to he should not fall down at all this lot of shlokas are there what bhagwan is actually speaking as a proof in front of us that divya gyan if we are getting it from our pure guru vishnu pure sadhu then only we can uh, uh, st- stabilize ourselves by the grip of guru dev and we can just go towards the actual pathway of uh, transcendental world in order to do actual hari bhajan by following the pathway of shrot pantha in toto in this material world whatever kind of uh, uh, knowledge material knowledge that is also the cause of our bondage that's why shila sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur ji has written भजन बाधा अनित्य संसारे मोह जनविया जीव के करेगा भक्तिनो ठाकुर एज टोल्ड दिस पॉइंट टू अस जड़ो विद्या जतो माया रूप जड़ो विद्या इज अ माया दैट दिस मटेरियल नॉलेज आल्सो इज जस्ट अ वेब ऑफ ऑपुलेंस ऑफ माया एंड इट विल जस्ट मेक ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इन द पाथवे ऑफ हरि भजन that this uh, temporary material world that moh attraction it is just uh, making this uh, material knowledge and his consciousness is getting fall down and down and he just completely forget his uh, rationality his actual consciousness he completely get devoid of that and he becomes one kind of an a uh, one kind of ass by gaining this material knowledge if absolute truth actual absolute truth is not at all uh, coming inside us then we are also unconscious that if actual absolute truth is we don't want to get in our life then we also will become unconscious yesterday i was also speaking all the shastra you are actually learning that even birth after birth you just need to go in this cycle of birth and that there is no other uh, pathway open for you there is no other pathway at all jo mera that uh, what is our in our life what in my life that topmost mangal absolute mangal which can be given to me that only you gurudev i just need to give everything by body speech and mind i have to surrender on to his lotus feet i am not just like a market guru i will not be going in front of him and giving my whole life onto his lotus feet no not at all i am not at all ready to do that propat speaking this point in front of us all gaudias those who are 100% giving me absolute mangal in my life about that absolute truth in toto 100% those who want my absolute mangal in my life onto their lotus feet only that atmanivedan i am ready to 
give my life onto his lotus feet that whatever kind of vanchana in this material world i am getting that whatever kind of different different attraction of maya devi what i can find in this material world whatever kind of different dramas that vanchana of this material world this all will go in water that if we, that if guru kripa is getting on us yesterday i was also discussing this point in front of you that gor kishor das baba ji maharaj his actual instructions to us regarding pure hari bhajan that this uh, uh, brutal heart every morning you just need to take your chappal you take your footwear and chappal and you just need to beat your brutal heart with that chappal it means you just need to put your uh, chappal on your face a lot of times so that if you will be just putting the chappal on others then the you will be just putting case if some other person will uh, putting chappal on your face then you will put some case so that's why you on your own you have to put the you have to put uh, your consciousness will go on increasing that is the actual instruction of gorke shor das baba ji maharaj to us every day you just need to just give chappal on your face and prabhupad speaking that from which what kind of sadhu you are potishtar tari nirjan ro ghari tab hori naam keval koita sat pucho to if in actual if you are asking vashibut man ke that by your uh, bonded mart by your uh, heart which is surrendered on to lotus feet of uh, gurudev then only hari bhajan is possible if your heart is not in your control a lot of it means that anarth is there inside your heart it means that actual hari bhajan you can't do at all because prabhupa lot of time he is speaking that when anarth when anarth after anarth is gone from your heart only then actual hari bhajan can start when anarth is there inside your heart at the time of uh, anarth which is there inside your heart at that time to do hari bhajan it is not at all possible to do hari bhajan at all when anarth is gone then only actual hari bhajan can start in your life that bhagwan also in geeta lot of time he is speaking to arjun that arjun you see this your brutal heart this brutal heart you just need to control it it daman means to control you don't understand that uh, forcefully you just need to control it no not like that with your heart that whatever kind of fighting you will do with your brutal heart you just be careful on this point what i'm speaking if you will be just getting in fighting mood with your brutal heart then more and more you will get into bondage you will become mad more and more more in fighting you will uh, do with your brutal heart and you will become more and more attached and bonded to this material maya so don't try to control it forcefully at all your your chit your heart that in order to get victory over your mind and intelligence then definitely you will get uh, uh, you it is not at all it is not at all good to it is not at all good to fight with your brutal heart definitely if you want to get victory over your heart like this by forcefully control forcefully controlling it then you will definitely get defeated by that because and opposite will happen if you will control your heart by your uh, forcefully i will be just taking only one time food i will not sleep at all you will just become mad like that nothing will happen lot of case i can just show you like that that so much case i can show you you come to me i'll show you in math also they have become mad just by doing this forcefully they are controlling fully mad they became that's why bhagwan all the time repeatedly is speaking the conception of yukta vairagya is very much important because either you should not uh, uh, feel uh, detached from this material things and you should not at all attracted towards this material objects also that is why bhagwan speaking that uh, detachment is not at all there and at the same attachment is also not at all there and both the things are in a balanced condition that's why yukta vairagya that balancing condition is very much important in life to attain otherwise every for everyone it is not like that that's why bhagwan in geeta speaking to arjun arjun that this uh, 
uh, chit in order to control it more forcefully you will be doing controlling it it will become more and more fallen you will become and in bhagavad gita mahapurana also it is written i have given lot of proofs regarding that also to you lot of proofs are there in bhagavad gita mahapurana and gita regarding the controlling of your mind and chit in the 87 chapter of 10th canto What actually written here? You will become mad that in order to in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran the mind is actually compared with the mad horse. It is a crazy mad horse. Whatever kind of medicine you will be putting it will become uncontrollable. So what is the actual pathway? That is only one pathway. That is Yukta Vairagya. That what Mahaprabhu Ji has already spoken yesterday you know na? That Mahaprabhu Ji is speaking to Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. After that Mahaprabhu what he told? That Mahaprabhu told to Raghunath Das Goswami later. Previously he told that oh you just go to your house quietly and become stable, stabilize yourself and stay there in your house and just be sure what I am speaking slowly and steadily that the person he can get out of this material world and he can get out of this material ocean this infinity material ocean just by swimming into that slowly steadily swimming into that at last he will definitely get at the corner of uh, some ocean by the creep of pure Guru Vaishnav just need to just try to understand this point so if uh, by Guru Vaishnav Kripa that this kind of realization we are getting inside our heart then so much serious you will become in Hari Bhajan that what to speak of that this very important and very uh, surprising Vishay it is we need to understand that's why I have started from the shloka In Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana also a lot of things, other shlokas are there. What is that? In Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana it is written. That, what do you mean by actually Hari Bhajan? That the first step of Hari Bhajan, what is that? The actual first step is to just control your mad mind. And with your, with mind, if you are having an earth, then whether you are doing yoga, gyan, whatever you are doing, it is impossible to do that. That's why in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, that is the actual proof which is written there already in the form of proof that what is the actual symptom of Hari Bhajan. That whatever kind of bhajan you are doing, whether Tamsi, I am not speaking about Tamsi bhajan, that you are taking wine and you are just going in, in the jungle with a woman or in the crematorium ground. It is actually Tamsik Bhajan. This is actually Tamsik. I am not talking about that. Naga Baba, etc. All they are actually doing that. They are doing all Devi Pujan, those who are doing all Tantric, Tantra Mantra, everything they are doing there. They are actually totally different. I am not talking about that at all. All in all Bhajan, that preliminary step is to control your mind. When this uh, mind to control that it is next to impossible but still if you cannot control then you cannot do a Hari Bhajan at all that's why the shlok which I have started with before that is from Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran from 10th Kanto that 87 chapter that uh, mind is actually compared with a mind, mad horse it is actually compared with that. A lot of uh, pressure if you will put on your mind. Then with that it will just like kick you. And it will just throw you. And only one kick he will get on your chest. And uh, you, you will be just vomiting blood out of your mouth. That's it. And you will just die. That's it. 
There is only one pathway that Bhagwan what he has told. In Gita also Bhagwan speaking the same thing. Just by taking more and more food for they are not at all getting successful. Those who are not at all taking nothing, he is also unsuccessful. He is taking a lot of sleep and he is not at all sleeping at all. He, he is also unsuccessful. Bhagwan in Gita, everything, each and every step he has told and he has given the solution of everything, how to control your mind. And so whatever be the case, in Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana also, there is the one shloka that uh, this mind is actually compared with the mad horse and in order to control your mind, there is no other pathway open for you at all. There is only one pathway, that's it. What is that? That is uh, just to take shelter of pure Guru Vaishnav, just to do their Anugatya. Everything is done by that. But only in this you will get everything. Just to get the Anugatya of pure Guru Vaishnav, then everything will be done. Nothing is required at all. And what? Not, no pathway is there at all. No pathway is open for you at all apart from that. That when Bhagwan actually speaking to Arjun, that, Oh Arjun, that you just need to go on to the neutral platform it means that you just need to control your mind completely but in order to control your mind Arjun speaking as it is impossible oh, oh Madhusudan to control our mind oh, it's impossible it's just like wind it's next to impossible to control your mind that uh, we can we stop wind? No, not at all. Wind can't be stopped at all. So in the same way, mind also cannot get stopped at all. It is impossible to control your mind because it's just comparable with wind. So if it is not at all possible, then we'll not do till do, uh, not at all doing bhajan. So when we will do bhajan if the mind is not at all controlled? So it's not the case. Actually, it's not the case to just get control over your mind Arjun speaking it rightly that just like wind this mind is actually blowing like the wind that we cannot control it all at all in the same way mind is also uncontrollable so what to do Bhagwan speaking that you see that that you do go on doing practicing under the guide Anugatya of pure Guru Vaishnava just go on doing practice on to under the Anugatya of pure Guru Vaishnav. Then only by practicing, such practice will definitely, slowly, steadily will bear successful fruit to you. Very, very, very shortly you will get successful. Get you, you will, you will come out successful to get the Anugatya of pure Guru Vaishnav. Just by practicing it under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnav, definitely you will get successful. That Abhihas goal on your own without taking the support of pure Guru Vaishnav. So the, up till what he will go? That material discipline and restriction up till that he can go. That's it. Up till what point he can go? He he can just without the grip of Guru Vaishnav. He can just go up till material restrictions and uh, discipline. Up till that point he can go, and from there he can uh, fall down any time. Like the case of Ajamil, so much discipline, so much rules and regulation, prohibition, morality, everything just got uh, cracked and uh, crushed into pieces. That's why Bhagwan in Gita speaking, the same point. And after that he is speaking that you see, that just by practicing it under the Anugatya of pure Guru Vaishnav, that actual Virag is definitely going to come in you. Definitely it will come. Uh, nothing else and now that Gurudev always used to speak that those people who are not at all accepting uh, Manasiksha not at all uh, those who are not at all uh, realizing Budesh Amrit Manasiksha and those who have not at all realized uh, Shri Chaitanya Siksha Amrit and those who haven't realized the Jaiv Dharma and those who are that Sanatan Siksha, Rupa Siksha, Rai Ramanan Sampad, this they haven't realized up till now. Then for them, it is impossible that they can get out of, that they can do Hari Bhajan. For them, it is not at all possible to do Hari Bhajan. Very, very difficult. 
सो दिस इज वेरी इन डेप्थ विचार इज देयर रिगार्डिंग दिस सो दिस मन शिक्षा जस्ट बाइट वाइल डिस्कसिंग दिस मन शिक्षा yesterday i was just making one background because it is very much uh, important to just uh, speak the background it is not at all good by not speaking the background shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur also anant param kila sabd shastram ye anant par that this infinity sansar that kind of uh, ocean material ocean in order to cross that just by uh, churning that ocean after that he has given that the actual uh, cream actual cream means the butter or the actual cream coming out of that churning of different shastras of goswamis the resultant butter what we need he has given that otherwise that in our life in our uh, in our bhajan life what kind of uh, uh in no speciousness can come just by thinking that it it looks very dangerous to me and become very much frightened by thinking like that without bhakti no thakur whatever goswami has written for us but without bhakti no thakur from where we can get so whatever be the case yesterday i was speaking that externally it's there only 12 shlokas in manasiksha there are only 12 shlokas of manasiksha but there is very deep deep vichar of this each and every shloka very very deep vichar is there of each and every shloka of manasiksha that das ko swami this manasiksha on that that the top most of shila sachidanand bhakti mon thakur the most merciful has given one when nice commentary on it ragunath das ko swami ji Yeah, just by his kripa merciful kripa he just want to protect us in order to he has just uh, uh, discovered this manasiksha just this is the actual crest well for all the pure gorya vishnavs that das ko swami ji just by his merciful glance that he just targeting his own heart in front of us shila das ko swami pad just targeting his own heart mind and uh, just in order to give the actual instruction to all guru vaishnav he is actually making this effort to jo ragunath das goswami that ragunath das goswami pad about that vairagya of ragunath das goswami is being spoken shar goswami ashtakam nidra har vihar ka divijito cha tan to dino cho jo ye baat this is the actual point so much vairagya but this vairagya this is actually natural vairagya that if we will just uh, imitating this kind of vairagya of ragunath das goswami pad then the opposite will happen in our life and bhakti no thakur ji under the guidance of shila roop goswami sanatan goswami and shishad goswami that whatever different different kind of books just by taking the actual proofs out of different different kind of from shri bhakti samra sindhu from ujjwal nilmalu from brahad bhagavat amrit from shat sandarbh and shri chaitanya charitamrit all different different shastra the actual cream of butter he has just proved that in front of us that oh mahadegans that all these three there is actually three division in whatever kind of three difference basic difference is there it is actually categorized into three divisions that is sadhan bhakti bhav bhakti and prem bhakti prema bhakti in this three basic difference or categorization is done in order to understand that that you just make sure make your effort to understand these three basic divisions you understand the point in these three divisions whatever kind of basic difference in order to understand that just try to understand that that sadhan bhakti bhav bhakti and prem bhakti that kind of actual manifestation just need to understand that shrina chakravarti pad by him that uh, the actual bhav of mahaprabhu that is actual instructions of mahaprabhu the actual teachings of mahaprabhu ekdam sarvasu that the actual conclusive points of all the orang mahaprabhu teachings 
It means that all Brajvadugans that they have done the service of Krishna in the same way we just need to do the seva. That in the same way we need to do Hari Bhajan according to that. And we also with full uh, that uh, full uh, merciful and serving mood that uh, this Manasiksha that Sri Chandadesh Lochandas a lot of poets transcendental poets that their kirtans are already written a lot of transcendental kirtans are there of these transcendental poets written by them Srila Raghunadas Goswami uh, titled Sri Manasiksha the actual first shlok that uh, Man- Marmanuvad we will be just starting that under the guidance of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur that what uh, he has written the Man- Mar- Marmanuvad that uh, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur the actual commentary of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur that we will be discussing that it is very much important to discuss that that this in these 12 shlokas Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, what not he has spoken everything he has spoken the actual in depth which are of bhajan every which are he has just uh, told in this and Mahaprabhu also has given this kind of instruction to us that all the time he is used to speak Mahaprabhu Ji himself just given this kind of instruction to us to the bonded jivas in order to just give us the instruction that without prem dhana without the actual treasure of prema that each and every jivatma that is the final target that is the top of success in their life for each and every jivatma in their life the actual final target of their life that absolute absolute benefit and mangal what is he for each and every jiva that treasure topmost treasure is prema that treasure of prema and now just by speaking prem you are, it is not at all that prem is will be there it, uh, next week i'll be discussing this again in the next week definitely I will be discussing it in front of you that in Manasiksha that in depth which are of Manasiksha in that in order to just manifest yourself all these kind of things we just need to learn completely we just need to first install ourselves in those teachings of uh, Manasiksha nobody is there to do Hari Bhajan at all almost if they are with that they are not at all uh, topmost they are kapat they are not at all totally nishkapat and at unalloyed devotion those who are doing that they are very very rare just by speaking there is not no one that no no kind of infighting can do no means that it is equivalent to no one definitely someone is there how it is possible that no one will be there in this material world just by going into this material world by chance if one that bhakti mukhi sukriti is getting manifested in some jiva that pure bhakti that each and every organ or limbs of 64 bhakti you can understand already that in nine limbs of bhakti is already are the main and also if you just uh, get the cream out of those nine that five are important five limbs what are that sadhu sang mathuravas all these things these are all panchavida just naam sankirtan these are five naam naam sankirtan these are very five important names what Mahaprabhu told these fives are what Mahaprabhu has with full guarantee he has told that he has already given this guarantee Mahaprabhu Krishna Prem Janme Epacher Alpo Sangha 
this inside these five even one actual uh, sambandh we are getting out of that one limb then what to speak of that that every kind of uh, solution we we can get out of out of our life we can get the absolute mangal but with full nishkapat roop that is very much uh, impossible to do it's very easy to do that in nine folds of bhakti also mahaprabhu has just getting that cream out of those nine limbs that five major limbs are been shown by mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu speaking that if someone out of this five limb if someone is getting uh, even one limb if all these kind of five limbs that wish even some very slight association you can get out of one of the limbs out of that five then that particular jeeva definitely gonna get the absolute mangal in his life that is called prema in that that he will get kritkritarth means he'll get the absolute mangal lot of proofs are there from purans and here there and prahlad maharaj ji it means that sadan siddh prahlad maharaj that is previous birth there is one example that about naraj ji in his previous uh, life we already have uh, heard in shrimad bhagavatam about shri naraj ji maharaj in his previous life what has happened and now here that shri lasanatan goswami pad sorry shri laragunath das goswami pad that previous uh, birth lot of i have already told you from his previous ashram what uh, kind of uh, uh, leela is there and prahlad maharaj ji that previous uh, story is there in the purans that prahlad maharaj ji in the previous birth that sadan siddh prahlad that not nitya siddh prahlad i'm talking about sadan sadan siddh prahlad he he has he is doing lot of bad work he is very very bad associated person in his previous life he used to do very bad works just used to take uh, association of vaishya and all kind of sinful activities he used to do one day that uh, just very one kind one prostitute with that he is just fight get inviting with that prostitute and what happened that with very uh, angry mood he j- without any taking any water and food he just uh, stayed at that day without any water and pros- and food without any food and water he just stayed at that day because of the infighting with that pros it's already written that at that day that shri narsing chatudashi was there that without any water and without prasadam in angry mood he is not at all taking anything and what is the actual thing that a very nice result has came out of that the result was very good lot of uh, proofs are there regarding this and i have given uh, only one proof and lot of proofs others are also there why because this pure bhakti that all kind of limbs which already being prescribed in the shastras that the actual limbs of bhakti what all are actually prescribed that in very fine form it's already written in the shastras out of that even if one limb out of all those limbs if uh, a person is getting successful in doing that then definitely that particular jeevatma or he is actually he is doing uh, ekadashi and uh, that some sparsh or he is serving some uh, uh, guest in the form of pure vaishnav he is actually giving prasadam to him and serving him and all those nishkinchan sadhus they are uh, unfamiliarly they are actually serving them without any the so the actual result what they will get that will be bhaktin mukhi sukriti by doing all this that so like this by doing that what will happen slowly steadily inside him that try kind of transformation will come into him slowly steadily he will go ahead it by directly once it won't be happen that shraddha rati it's in slowly steadily gradual professional procedure it is being done
not suddenly it will happen at all and in our shastras also in chaitanya charitamrita also it is written krishna bhakti re janma mool hai sadhu sang krishna bhakti janma mool hai sadhu sang krishna prem dite seo hai mukha ye bhi muksha this is the actual mukhya anga principal major limb of bhakti and bhagwan also in gita he has already told that all the dharm you just need to uh, you just need to throw it away and then you have to come under my shelter i will protect you bhagwan speaking aham tam sarve sarva papi bhyo mukshe shamimasu sare all kind of dharm you just need to throw that away all on earth also i have already discussed maybe you must have forgot that point i have already told you from bhajan bhajan rahasya in that discussion i i already remember that how whole on earth after getting uh, thrown away totally getting uh, destroyed because on earth are of different different types Asatrishna, Hirde Dorbalya, Swarup Vibram and Aparad. Swarup Vibram, Asatrishna, Hirde Dorbalya, Aparad, Char Kishim. There are four kinds of anarthas are, anarthas are there. Char Kishim. It is of four types. And up till this, all the jivas who are actually getting in this anarth, then actual bhajan is not at all possible at all. no pathway is there open to do actual bhajan at all kaise prem utpatti hota hai how that prema can get uh, inculcated inside your heart ragunath das go swami ji in order to control his heart slowly steadily ekdam he is he just wants to take our mind onto that absolute platform that's why he has given this instruction of shiksha ashtakam uh, this mana shiksha to us just in order to get us that onto that top most extreme position that he has given this instruction of mana shiksha to us so whatever be the case now now ragunath das ko swami path that his actual instructions and shila roop ko swami pad that his upadesh amrit all everything these sahaj sahajiyas don't want to accept that at all they their vichar is totally different they don't want to accept this vichar at all they don't want to accept this at all they are thinking who what is this what constructions are this they don't want to accept that at all so that's why they are actually becoming sahajiya they all have are becoming sahajiya they have already just registered their name in the in the context of sahajiyas and now there is that saraswat bhakti vinod dhara those who are getting established in that lot of people they are actually having this rupanuk vichar in the in the in the name of rupanuk vichar they are they are actually getting totally deviated from that pathway of rupanuk vichar and they are actually fallen down from that condition totally fallen down from that condition so these people that parapujavat keshav goswami maharaj speaking echude paka means if uh, if the jack fruit in the green stage if you are giving carbide etc forcefully then you can see that it is actually ripe but it is not like that so like this is our condition what to do echudi paka so it like this you will think whatever be the case this all those sahajiyas all those sahajiyas that uh, rasatat no kind of conception actual conception is there of rasatat at all that inside sahajiyas no actual conception of rasatat is there at all rasatat conception actual vichar is not at all there they are just thinking they are just making that uh, they are following but it's by just uh, speaking like that externally it's not at all possible that they can prove that so 
So Saraswat Bhakti Vinod Dhara, in order to get established, lot of people are there that they are thinking that they are Rupa Nuga. By that Vichar Dhara, they are thinking they are already getting fallen from the Rupa Nuga Vichar Dhara. And like in green stage, that jackfruit is just getting... Uh, is just getting smashed up and made into kathal. So it's the same process like that. That they are in they are actual they are actually against the actual preaching. Or they are speaking what you will do by doing preaching? Just do bhajan. Uh, preaching is nothing they are speaking. <laughs> so they are like that, what to speak. But they don't know at all that uh, in order to follow the instructions of Bhagwan, what Bhagwan has given us the instructions. This already this katha has been written. That by Rupanuga Vichar they are actually getting totally deviated from that. That Saraswat Gaudiya up till today that in Saraswat Gaudiya Dhara a lot of people are there who are actually established in that Saraswat Gaudiya and they are actually getting completely deviated from that Rupanuga Vichar Dhara. That's why Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur always used to speak against them. Mahaprabhu himself, his instruction is that to do Sankirtan all the time. Other, whether in form of Harikatha or in Kirtan, that is all one and the same. Mahaprabhu himself, just by preaching it in front of us, he is just speaking this. When our bhajan, when our own bhajan and Harikatha all, it is all getting one significance. Only then, that vichar is actually good. When our vichar is getting totally fixed, what Mahaprabhu has given us, what Mahaprabhu has given the instruction to us. This already, that the last Upadesh Mahaprabhu has given us like this. That Nam Sankirtan, just by speaking that, that Shri Nam, Gun, Roop, Leela, everything, different kind of uh, Kirtan we can do, just we need to understand that. Only then Kirtan is possible. So, in our Gaudiya Vaishnav uh, life, that kind of preaching and bhajan is all the same significance, is holding the same significance. The actual purport is that, conclusion is that. That both the actual uh, con- purport is that only. That if our Harikatha, Harikirtan, it is not at all getting engaged in bhajan, then what is the use of that, you tell me? Just to do preaching and to, to speak Harikatha and uh, what to speak This both, this both bhajan and preaching is holds the same significance. It becoming the same meaningful. Then only we can get the actual fruit. Otherwise not. Before that it is not at all possible that we can get anything. That, that prema, we will be discussing it next week. That Raghunath Das Goswami Ji, that only his prema, is not at all prema. That is most more than prema. Raghunath Das Goswami Pad is having. That prema also has different different kind of divisions. Lot of divisions are there of prema as well. Rag, Anurag. From there, lot of division is there of prema. Lot of division. Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. He is a top. He is in the topmost condition of prema. That she is in the seva of Shrimati Radharani. 
and from his lotus mouth what actually has come that is very much important to hear and understand that that is very very much important to understand and hear the actual cream he is giving to us raghunath das goswami pad shila das goswami pad at the time of parikrama used to speak so the swaniyam dashakam that our bhakti vinod thakur also has written swaniyam dashakam and raghunath das goswami pad also has written after mana shiksha he has written swaniyam dashakam that raghunath das goswami pad all the time used to go in the jungle and in the dadash van vindavan dham and always used to speak this kirtan there that i have just heard it from my guru varg this swaniyam dad dad shikam what bhakti no thakur has written this shila das under the anugatya of das goswami only has written that das goswami ji when he is actually used to go in the dadashwan of vrindavan at that time he always used to do this uh, kirtan and he used to do brahman in the jungle so this is the actual rules we need to follow under their guidance abhi now just by getting into this uh, material world jeevas by chance bhakti prada sukriti that bhakti mukhi sukriti is getting accumulated shuddha bhakti ka that a pure bhakti whatever kind of limbs are there of pure bhakti in that one or the other in the life of some by chance if they are actually they are actually doing some service knowingly and knowingly some pure guru vaishnava like they are to kadashi upvas they are doing and uh, that bhagavat tirth darshan in the, to take part in tirth to stay in tirth and just by taking prasadam unknowingly just and whatever kind of pure devotees that all those nishkanchan sadhus you are serving them unknowingly and just to hear hari katha and the kirtan from their lotus mouth and unknowingly doing the shravan and kirtan of hari katha and hari kirtan unknowingly will just bestow bhakti mukhi sukriti on to the particular jeeva now this raghunath das goswami pad this situation that is the extreme situation that i have already told you yesterday shrimati radha rani just to on to her lotus feet she is actually making a request on the lotus feet of shrimati radha rani that i will just die i definitely gonna die if you will not at all not at all saving me raghunath das goswami pad speaking that i am yours रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी जस्ट बाई क्राइंग विद क्राइंग मूड ही इज एक्चुअली कॉलिंग राधा रानी दैट आई एम गोन अ डाई दैट आई एम योर्स ओनली योर्स ओनली आई एम योर्स ओनली दैट सेट This is the actual exclusive prayer of Raghunath Das Goswami on to Lotus Feet of Radha Rani. Shri Mati Radha Rani. That I have already told you about Anarth. That Anarth slowly, steadily, when it is going away, about Anarth also I have spoken. That it is very, very far away from us. Just by speaking Manasikha only, because our mind is not at all controllable. No, he is not at all uh, accepting our instructions. He is not at all uh, there to accept. If you will be just giving the different instructions to your mind, then definitely you can just you know, get get one feedback. I have already told. Hindu Rvalo Shab Aparadho Ato Ashat Tishna. 
four bra four anarth are there and also each and every four anarth are different types have again different different kind of division i just need to remember that again so that because of otherwise manasiksha is not at all possible to get ahead first is swarup vibram swarup bram means that in your own tatva and in your own paratatva that your so your satatva and paratatva the satatva means that jivas that their own tatva that satatva and paratatva that in bhagwan that your sadhan sadhan tatva in sadhya sadhan brahm you are getting brahm in that and virodhi vishay also these all four tatva that is actually coming in the category of asatrishna for all those jivas asatrishna is also of four types you can understand that that swarup vibram i have already told you swarup vibram that is own swarup that own paratatva you are have you are actually you know, getting unconscious that who you are in actual what is actual swarup of your atma you don't know in satatva that brahm is there and in paratatva that extreme paratatva you are having brahm and in sadhan 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 tatva also there is brahm and virodhi vishay means that now no now that we are in that tat that in order to understand is very much difficult to understand that is virodhi vishay bhajan ka that bhajan virodhi vishay that is virodhi vishay of bhajan virodhi vishay virodhi vishay that also brahm is there in sadhan sadhan tat also there is brahm that's why just by taking the actual instruction of sadhan sadhan everyone is actually going into this circle of birth and that because they haven't understand the actual tat of sadhan sadhya sadhan tat that is very much important to understand definitely some brahm is there in sadhya sadhan tat and and in sadhya sadhan that kind of virodhi vishay what it is there in that also there is brahm in virodhi vishay also there is brahm what do you mean by that that what is who are actually virodhi means against that they are thinking that anukul uh, they are thinking it as anukul that is called virodhi vishay that is which is totally against pure bhajan that is virodhi vishay so satatta paratat and sadantat sadasanat tat and virodhi vishay in all these four this brahm is there so these are four kind of tat brahm i have already described and after swarup vibram that asatrishna it is written ohi parotrik eshona bhutika ichar kishu these are four types ehik that just by having this body that and or after leaving this material body that kind of uh, desire is there it, it means that after leaving the body also he want pratishtha position after leaving his body also before leaving his body that his name should be there in this whole material world that even after leaving his body he don't want to leave position also so paratrik trohi tehik eshna in this material world while living then he is actually going to that transcendental world you understand the point when i am speaking that after death also still that he has just uh, put left some money and speaking that in my name that you give uh, bhandara every year after my death you are uh, someone actually opening some hospital some actually some uh, institute he has opened or some actually are opening food for life someone actually opening food for life this all actually is going on what to do this is all all eshna this is all trishna just to for your there uh, asatrishna is also of four types that we need vibhuti that if vibhuti will be there then only they will respect us no these are actually of four types now already aparad is also of four types in krishna naam aparad is there in krishna swarup also there is aparad in 
and devotees onto the lotus feet of devotees is a prayat and other jivas onto their lotus feet there is a prayat because bhagwan is there inside the heart as paramatma in each and every jiva so from all this uh, brahm that aparad also is getting uh, reached out uh, uh, from that from that uh, aparad is can actually getting uh, produced from anartha and after that hriday dorbalya hriday dorbalya means the weakness of your heart definitely weakness of heart is there there is weakness there inside his heart and that weakness just by speaking directly as jealousy it is not at all good but definitely it comes in the category of jealousy only directly we cannot speak it the dorbalya as if it is jealousy no just by speaking it as jealousy it's not at all good some kind of uh, against pratibhat can come the hriday dorbalya is weakness jealousy means that uh, uh, that uh, whatever kind of utkarsh the other person is getting he is not at all feeling good in that that someone actually getting uh, some examination passed and some uh, sister has got daughter in law is getting married this some kind of hinsa bhav is coming and someone actually sadhu is actually moving ahead in his preaching work he is becoming very much angry what will happen matsarya will come you just need to kill him just cut him that's it this is actually matsar maybe this hriday dorbalya it is definitely come in the category of hriday dorbalya but directly by speaking that the other persons can do pratibhat in that definitely it is there the actual proof is there in the shastras hriday dorbalya that with matsarya definitely that it is actually counted in matsarya also goswami log has counted that in that directly it is written this is already they have counted that but directly if someone speaking they are persons will get angry by this point for them they are they will become so much uh, hinsak they will become but if they it's already been counted by goswami bhakti mein thakur also have made this vichar to chha shakti in very small vishay they are actually can't leave that very very normal vishay they are actually getting having that desirous mood and just by getting uh, feeling pain by not getting uh, a successful by putting attention on this very small vishay that just by seeing the actual uh, advantage and promotion of others they are feeling jealousy they are getting some kind of uh, mirchi spice in that what to do that is called hriday dorbalya that without sab pratishta nobody can do anything at all it means they don't want to do anything without sab pratishta if sab pratishta is there then only he will do otherwise he will not do at all he will not at all do at all something that's why in the whole material world he is actually running towards pratishta that's it that's their own pratishta institution pratishta whatever will is there yesterday also i have told nowadays those who are giving opposite shiksha his name is international sadhu nowadays that is international sadhu na who is speaking that just by speak, hearing gita just by and just to it is more practical to play football just by reading gita <laughs> and to why what to why to serve tulsi devi no use you just uh, worship uh, brinjal uh, brinjal plant you worship that it's more practical like there is one material poet of this material world they are also from this material poet but still he is actually become international sadhu how he only knows that so this is the case how he has become international sadhu you see very astonishing and surprising to hear about it this whole material world is actually going on the opposite pathway what to do that actual sadhu that international he is not at all international sadhu that actual sadhu whose name he is not at all at international level is getting promoted that he is not at all going to take that why because he is universal in nature that sadhu who is universal to make him international that is just that is not at all good that's why they are not at all uh, uh, name is not there in this uh, whole material world those who are giving opposite to shiksha they, their name will be there in the whole material world and that actual sadhu what is there 
दे आर एक्चुअली यूनिवर्सल साधु दैट इज द एक्चुअल पॉइंट एनी हाउ विदाउट एनी पोजिशन एंड नेम फेम नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू एनी थिंग एट ऑल दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू एनी थिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम पोजिशन इफ यू गिव पोजिशन दे वेल डू एवरी थिंग गुरु सेवा वॉट इज दैट वॉट इज द प्रॉफिट इन डूइंग गुरु सेवा महाराज यू जस्ट टेल अस देन ओनली वील डू गुरु सेवा लाइक दिस इज देयर कंसेप्शन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट यू जस्ट शो मी अकॉर्डिंगली आई विल डू द नीडफुल दिस इज द एक्चुअल रूल्स वॉट टू डू in our life that our main goal and target is to get the, the prema that mahaprabhu has shown mahaprabhu by doing his acharan has just shown one example in front of us that how you can attain prema and sad sadhya sadhan tatva in that mahaprabhu has lot of time shown us this point lot of time he has shown has shown and already discussed that that sadhya sadhan tatva in that that sambandh abhidey and prayojan lot of times mahaprabhu has shown us sambandh abhidey and prayojan sambandh abhidey and prayojan that tatva that mahaprabhu has just discussed in front of us sambandh means to have relationship that to get relationship of uh, sambandh with bhagwan the what is the actual relationship of you with bhagwan that uh, complete knowledge of your relationship with bhagwan and without without knowing about your relationship with bhagwan if someone is doing bhajan then it's already written in the kirtan when without re- relationship bhajan hari bhajan is not at all possible like without relationship if someone is doing marriage then that marriage is useless that kind of marriage is of no use at all that even children wife you have some relationship with them with mother father also with brother mother father everyone you have relationship but your relationship with bhagwan is not at all possible why because this some sambandh gyan this about material relationship i am not at all talking i am talking about the vigyan the transcendental relationship that what is that maya object and what what is the actual relationship of maya with bhagwan and what is my relationship with the uh, maya and what is the relationship of maya with the bhagwan and who are actually guru vishnuv who what they can do all this this actually comes in the category of sambandh gyan prayojan tatva about that mahaprabhu has told about the sadhan sadhya sadhan tatva like to tapan mishra that before that uh, in the uh, in the east bengal he used to stay and uh, he, he no don't know about any sadhya sadhan tatva uh, and have no knowledge about that and he become very much depressed what is actually sadhya and what is the sadhan tatva who actually will told, tell me he become very much depressed and one day in a dream someone some very ni- nice personality speaking that oh, mishra you just get up and here nimai pandit has came and he is the topmost he is swayam parak parat parikleshwar bhagwan swayam there is no doubt about it that you go to him and just uh, know about the sadhya sadhya sadhan tatva he will definitely give you the actual uh, hint of that that tapan mishra has just went to him there mahaprabhu has told him the actual sambandh abhidhan prayojan that tatva wherever you can see not even one place but each and every place mahaprabhu has shown this kind of sambandh abhidhan prayojan tatva in chaitanya charitamrita also he is speaking the same thing sanatan goswami pad parat 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 shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu he told that you see that sanatan that this all uh, whatever this vichar i am speaking to you this this sambandh abhidhe i have already told now prem prayojan about that i am going to tell you rai ramanand mahashay also he is mahaprabhu giving the same instructions mahaprabhu also himself told the instructions to rai ramanand as well that in rai ramanand sambandh there actually it is written mahaprabhu speaking to rai ramanand that oh rai mahashay that uh, to me that sadhya sadhan tatva about that i need the knowledge of that 
दैट जस्ट बी केयरफुल ऑन दिस पॉइंट दैट दैट आई विल टेक सम टाइम दैट आवर विचार इज एक्चुअली टोटली रॉन्ग वॉट वी आर मेकिंग ऑन आवर ओन दैट इफ यू आर नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग साधन दैन यू विल गेट साध्य वस्तु हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल यू टेल मी दैट विदाउट डूइंग साधना एंड टू राय महाशय दैट ही महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड आस्किंग वाई बिकॉज महाप्रभु जी द फर्स्ट अबाउट वर्नाश्रम धर्म फ्रॉम वर्नाश्रम धर्म एंड देन आफ्टर दैट द प्योरिटी ऑफ वर्नाश्रम धर्म देन गोइंग मोर अबव दैट देन वॉट इज द एक्चुअल गोल ऑफ वर्नाश्रम धर्म टू डू द वर्शिप ऑफ भगवान एंड इन दैट that whatever kind of karma you are doing that you have to do have to just give on to lotus feet of uh, bhagwan that karma arpan about that maha rai maha she told and slowly steadily that karma mishra bhakti like this you slowly gyan mishra bhakti slowly steadily you need to go and he just uh, forecast it manifest everything in front of mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu also in sanatan shiksha this sambandh avide prayojan he already told after that what he spoken now i am actually what going to speak that is sambandh abide after that what he spoke that what he had already spoken about sambandh and abide that mahaprabhu actually speaking that prayojan tatva to sanatan go swami path bhakti phal prem prayojan mahaprabhu ka mahaprabhu speaking in bengali maybe you can understand this point in bengali even means abhi now bhakti phal prem prayojan bhakti that bhakti that uh, that that in at the last when that uh, that f- the top most fruit given by that plant the tree is that prem fruit of prema on the lotus feet of krishna that is the prayojan tattva the final target that sadhya vastu by sadhana that sadhya object that you want to attain in order to attain i am you are doing all the efforts that is called uh, sadhya vastu that is only attainable by sadhan practice and the object to be attended the object to be attended by sadhan that is called sadhya vastu so mahaprabhu speaking to sanatan go swami ibe suno prem ibe suno bhakti phal prem prayojan jaha shobane hoy bhakti rasa gyan prayojan ibe suno bhakti phal prem prayojan jaha shobane hoy bhakti rasa gyan प्रेम भक्ति साधन भक्ति आफ्टर दैट भाव भक्ति एंड देन प्रेम भक्ति एंड आफ्टर प्रेम भक्ति लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टेजेस आर देयर बट जीवात्मा कैन नॉट अटेन दैट इन दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड अबाउट दिस आई विल बी स्पीकिंग नेक्स्ट वीक अबाउट दिस थिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ भक्ति लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रेम भक्ति कैटेगराइजेशन इज देयर प्रेम अभिदान कृष्ण भक्ति रसेर से स्थाई भाव नाम मापु Mahaprabhu he the actual uh, conclusion what Mahaprabhu used to speak in front of us is that that bhakti in sadhan in sadhan in sadhan situation at that situation of sadhana at that time that bhakti is actually titled as sadhana bhakti up till that sadhan bhakti is not at all getting started in the life of one sadhak then that bhakti you cannot speak that it is bhakti it is one kind of practice what he is doing that bhakti the name with that if you are connecting with that then when that when when it will come to the stage of sadhana bhakti before that if that will be sadhan ka practice that the practice that sadhan kriya it will be uh, called it will be titled as sadhan kriya not sadhana bhakti ये जो साधन 
this uh, word from sad situation of sadhana that uh, bhakti that is called sadhana bhakti you just need to attain that stage of sadhana bhakti and after that the actual fruit of sadhana slowly steadily you will get into that uh, bhav bhav situation situation of bhav and bhakti ultimately will go towards the situation of bhava and that is called bhava bhakti and ultimately that bhav bhakti in a very ra- ripened form it will give the fruit of prema that prema bhakti it will give that that bhav rati what actually is actually getting from that prema bhakti that is called prema bhakti you will get and prem bhakti also in vedi mark and in rag mark both two types of prema bhakti is there according to sadhana it's not like that that in vedi mark prem cannot be attained definitely it can be attained but it will be some different what you will get on the brajvasis because it is totally different from brajvasis vidhi mark there is also prem there who who told that prem is not there in vidhi mark definitely prem is there but it is totally different from that pathway of brajvasis in vidhi mark that prem is definitely there and raganuga sadhan also that prem is there that both uh, there are some differences there in vidhi mark lot of Uh, time is uh, required and in rag mark spontaneous naturally from heart attachment for krishna is coming that's why the work is done very quickly in vedi mark it that work is done late but still our bhakti nath thakur has given this instruction to us that we definitely have to follow vedi mark rag mark it doesn't mean that you are following rag mark that it doesn't mean that if you are following rag mark that you just need to throw away vidhi mark it's not like that there's all foolish people they are actually speaking this those who are foolish number 1 they are actually speaking all this but in actual form that vidhi mark with that rag mark there is no fighting with that at all vidhi mark vidhi mark there is no fighting confrontation no contradiction or no confrontation with the rag mark at all bhakti mo thakur speaking that first he just need to get established in vidhi mark that if he is actually following the vidhi mark then that jivatma is becoming habituated that morning he is going 3 o'clock is getting up then he is doing hari naam automatically when it will become habituated then automatically that vidhi mark will become normal then after that inside that rag raga which will get produced inside his heart that automatically vidimar will get automatically that vidimar will get uh, uh, withdrawn it is not like forcibly you are withdrawing it it automatically will be done so that's why bhakti mr thakur ji has written that vidimar ko rato jane vidimar ko rato jane sadinata ratno dane rag marg me but that vidhi mark that who already stayed in vidhi and he don't want to go ahead in rag mark then for him nothing is there those who have this set their goal in their life that they have to have taken the vow that definitely i don't want to go out of vidhi mark then it is more good then they will attain they will won't attain rag mark at all but those pure guru vaishnav they if under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav then you are practicing vidhi mark slowly steadily then uh, gurudev already rag mark is there inside uh, gurudev but if you do kripa on me then that kind of disease of prema that is called disease of prema will definitely catch me as well definitely it will come definitely it will come because uh, guruji has uh, disease of prema definitely it will come in the disciple as well and uh, lot of uh, uh, discussion is there regarding this that those people who are following vidhi marg and slowly steadily they are moving towards rag marg but vidhi marg that i have already just discussed in front of you about vidhi marg uh, by the guidance of vishnu chakravarti pad when some person is slowly steadily is going uh, ahead in his bhajan by by realization that at the time of getting realization the first step of the bhajan that first he is actually doing the agre of the first step of bhajan more you understand that slowly steadily he is moving forward but inside 
inside his heart there is some prejudicial idea some wrong conception is coming that the first stage at when he was there definitely it is good to do that either as but actually it is written there that when you are going from one stage to other then whatever previously what you were doing that things that he don't need to get indulge more in those vishay that if you will give extra and more uh, agra in that more focused on that then slowly steadily he will uh, it will become difficult for him and he can't move forward so definitely his growth will just get uh, diluted slowly steadily he need to go like that and now hindi marg aur to jo hai shadinata ratno dane rag marg mein rag marg ke kora hai bhakti no thakur has spoken this point if someone actually doing bhajan and he can he has just gone into such a situation that in his life that the hari katha kirtan of bhagwan it's totally all the time he is doing that that katha kirtan of bhagwan is actually getting inside his heart all the time then if you are actually forcibly just putting him again you are forcibly putting him again and again you are putting forcibly in the previous uh, what he used to do that adoshradha level he was actually was there before then you want you want to take him there that again you have to come to back to that stage only of adoshradha because he already got advanced so why he'll come back to the previous stage that whole sadhana bhajan that actual mystery is there very fine mystery that this mystery is that if in your life that shravan kirtan that is becoming topmost in your life in such a situation such a stage it is going that without shravan kirtan you cannot stay all the time you need naam sankirtan of naam and you are just hearing hari katha and even if you are doing kitchen whatever you are doing you doing amanya all the time you are just remembering uh, siddhant vichar of bhagwan and doing hari naam then that is the topmost upkar you one jeev can get in the life of a particular jeev atma if the shravan kirtan is becoming topmost then for him what to speak of him that is a topmost stage he can attain in this life most topmost advantage he can get so those who are getting the topmost advantage of getting hari katha kirtan then again you are just putting forcibly down to the adav shraddha level that you are putting him there then uh, this what that definitely this is seva just to throw the patal of uh, you go to the temple just uh, uh, wash the floor it definitely it is bhakti but shravan kirtan is the topmost more top so topmost uh, situation shravan kirtan understand the point that there is no in archan mark those who are having shravan kirtan he is getting lot of uh, ma, his heart is just getting attracted to that shravan kirtan then you are actually putting that same person to preliminary archan you are then that is that is actually he definitely because his mind is all the time there in hari katha kirtan no nowadays this thing only happening that he is actually going ahead then he just is going for hari katha then what he will do that such seva he will give that so that he can't hear hari katha prabhu ji now you can do some kitchen now and after the award you can go and to hear hari katha <laughs> and he is giving some kind of floor seva you do hai eh? and you just do or otherwise you go to the market and take some uh, vegetables and fruits any how some kind of obstruction will be given in his uh, uh, in the way of hari bhajan so that actual hari katha kirtan he should not hear at all directly so this is the actual hints of what to do this already has been done one one acharya's disciple is there he actually all the time used to stay with me and uh, just to, to do work with me sitting together and lot of uh, he is uh, actually the boy of punjab i will not speak his name he will become very much uh, uh, angry at the time when i was all the time there with vrindavan he used to do the work of book and in i used to do the book and lot of uh, things he used to do With, in front of him. and now so much uh, kripa is got of pure guru vishnu my sneh also has got and another sneh of maharaj he is getting he is already seva bhav and his his character and body is very good and very nice boy he is 
एंड आई एक्चुअली टोल्ड हिम नाउ डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू डू लाइक दिस एंड नाउ यू यू हेयर हरी कथा जस्ट ट्राई टू हेयर हरी कथा यू हैव द पॉसिबिलिटी टू डू यू हेयर हरी कथा नाउ दैट्स वाई सो नाउ आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर जस्ट बाई स्पीकिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू स्पीक हरी कथा नाउ यू हेज गॉट दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सो मच ब्यूटिफुल दैट वेरी नाइस हरी कथा ही स्पीकिंग ही इज ऑल गॉड ब्रदर ही इज बिकमिंग एंग्री विद हिम सो मच एंग्री विद हिम दैन ऑल फाइटिंग इन फाइटिंग गो ऑन दैट ही जस्ट वॉन्ट टू किल हिम वॉट यू वॉन्ट एक्चुअली टेल मी वॉट यू वॉन्ट है अरे यू आर स्पीकिंग हरी कथा है and he is actually they are because they are becoming jealous of him because his father and mother has just uh, taken him and just taken him uh, to the house back and uh, the no need you just come so much jealousy is there what to do she so has not done any wrong thing but still uh, the jealousy is there in others so what to do in that so you can't do anything like uh, my 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 case is also the same each and every place they are just uh, putting me in bars like that so how i can get the grip of nitanand if they haven't done any jealousy with me they are not at all enemy they are my friend they definitely have done good in my life because apart from that how i can get the grip of nitanand because of them they actually just stopped everything if we haven't stopped anything there then how i can speak uh, absolute truth like this so whatever is done is all good now actually what mahaprabhu the actual instruction i am actually speaking in front of you about this after this mahaprabhu speaking that this is actually come under the category of preeti that is actually coming under the category of preeti preeti is getting nourished and getting matured out of that and this new 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 this new new preeti which is actually getting nurtured or matured inside the heart of that person jivatma in the life of that that kind of material uh, material wish that agitation will uh, be there and whatever actually related apart from relationship with krishna his uh, time is not at all getting wasted even fraction of second not getting wasted in his life bhuktim it is just like poison for him bhukti mukti everything there to sensual gratification whatever he is taking or some siddhi bhukti for that he is actually all rubbish for him the top most thing for him is to, that so much but still he is thinking that i am actually foolish number 1 i am nothing what kind of seva i have done of krishna like this kind of bhav is there all the time inside his heart and all the time having this confidence in krishna that krishna definitely will do kripa on me this type of full confidence is there in him and with this full confidence inside his heart that this expectation is there inside his heart all the time he is feeling that kind of greediness for bhagwat seva in naam sankirtan hari naam he is feeling that kind of greediness that he can't even express that but still he is feeling that and lot of bhagwan have already told that i will definitely going to explain that more that all the time having that asakti in uh, relationship with krishna's vishay whatever krishna seva he is actually that in krishna dham all the time is having preeti and attachment for that and in this like all these things the, he can just see that very easily regarding relationship to krishna that krishna preeti this uh, symptom what mahaprabhu has told this uh, krishna prem krishna prem that uh, that how oh, krishna prem can be can we can get in our life nowadays uh, they don't want to understand shastra at all i already to in front of the about mata ji's acharya ship i have written one article or five articles i have five volumes i have written of those articles 1 2 3 4 5 four or five uh, volumes i am actually giving the whole uh, solution but still the fighting in the south india is actually going on why because why it is going on actually that fifth part also I have written regarding this i haven't published it just just by my own i haven't published so that all kind of uh, rubbishment what they are getting in their life destruction 
because by crit- criticizing all this they are actually speaking all rubbish why actually it is done like that they are speaking like that that are, they are not at all actually uh, taking the actual uh, proof of the shastras what i can do in that so this is the case what to do and uh, thus this kind of proof from the shastra the actual proof is that that all the time his heart is there in harikatha kirtan lot of actually proofs are there lot of proofs what i can speak in front of you is very limited that in 11th canto also bhagwan krishna speaking nandanti padanti alaukika ha nitpanti gayanti anusilayanti ayam he bhavanti tusim paramitta nirvita bahut sare proofs lot of examples and proofs are there lot of proofs are there how one by one if i speak it's very unlimited but nobody wants to hear it what to do nobody wants to hear each and every jeevatma that last the final target that absolute target is to have to the lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav to the nugatya to do the nugatya of pure guru vaishnav that is the absolute to attain krishna prem apart from that nothing is more top most in this whole material world you can get krishna prem is top most up till prem one jeevatma can go that's it after that when he is leaving his body material body made of subtle elements when yog maya is some he is actually is doing some seva giving us some seva of bhagwan whether he is in vidhi mark he will go to vaikuntha dham or if he is in rag mark then he will go to golok vrindavan and there yog maya will give him the service of bhagwan accordingly and after that when he is going there from there that he will get more and more promotion in his life slowly steadily he will go ahead that is all very surprising and astonishing kind of vishay in front of us and mahaprabhu also has spoken in front of us that you see mahaprabhu actually speaking that krishna bhajan inside that navveda bhakti nine folds of bhakti that is the top most why because krishna prem that krishna prem that in order to attain that that to get the lotus feet of krishna that so much kind of uh, strength is there krishna prem krishna dite dhare mahashok tar mutte sarvashrestha naam sankirtan niraparade naam leile pai prem ma ab socho that now you can understand that raghunath das goswami pad this mana shiksha that in this mana shiksha that for us he has already provided us just by his will just in order to do kripa on us and this mana shiksha if uh, you will just establish yourself manifest inside your heart then upadesh amrit and of uh, mana shiksha is getting uh, established in that then his heart he'll get so much uh, clean and so much uh, uh, mannerized that this prema definitely he will attain in this life no doubt about it that just to give a teaching to your mind that is the top most teaching that is the top most thing just to teach your mind that is the top most thing but but that but they don't want any anugatya of pure guru vishnu they are staying in mat they are eating sleeping everything they are doing but they are all isolated in a separate island they are all isolated in a separate island that i am actually speaking all scientific discussion in front of you that definitely they are staying one but nobody is there with they are all isolated in a separate island they have their own mindset individual mindset like an advanced intellectual family life in that that just uh, i am actually speaking this very deep uh, scientific uh, explanation regarding this you just uh, forgive me that today's intellectual society this intellectual so that family life what you are doing in that also all marriage is one kind of contact that's it that husband he is husband 
and his wife she is wife and she is daughter and his son all actually have different uh, isolated island mother actually is they have their own uh, separate life and he has whole uh, different history and allegory and the husband also the father also having different uh, story line and daughter also have a different story line everyone has different story line and if uh, the the actually mother actually used to do some sashan on the girl on daughter then the daughter will definitely speaking in a very harsh voice yes yes mata ji she is speaking you are actually uh, speaking with me like this eh? i am senior no yes 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 this is your advantage now that's it that this is your only advantage that you are sin, sin, you are senior with me in age that's why you are speaking like this to me that i i am actually small child that's why i can't couldn't speak in front all actually are isolated that daughter has his separate life son has his separate life the father has his separate life nobody don't want to actually touch others life because if they will touch then the actual mystery will get open in the mat they are speak saying in uh, all together but scientifically i can prove they are all separate like an isolated island separate isolated island they are staying no kind of uh, for guru seva that do not have any attachment this is one kind of factory running there that's it that we are running one factory we have four men they are just running it on the some salary they are doing like that no harmony is there with in, inside them at all nobody wants to understand actually what is guru seva so much dangerous situation nowadays it is so okay what will be the case this manasiksha about that manasiksha again uh, that some uh, in depth analysis is required that what i want to speak this already i have explained that and more and more shlokas are there that i will be discussing and again i will be going forward in manasiksha that raghunath das goswami path that what in depth which are what he wants to speak in front of us that we will be just getting drowned into that ocean of uh, rasa of manasiksha everything i will discuss and after that that i will be discussing the in depth which are of manasiksha under the guidance of raghunath das goswami path what he has shown us in that we will just getting uh, uh, drowned in that ocean of rasa before that it is very much important to make the background like this bhavan goswami maharaj keshav goswami maharaj used to speak that is all sahajyas they are they are actually just uh, crushing this uh, jack fruit in the green stage that one person is feeling very greedy you just need to crush this uh, jack fruit and uh, automatically by putting some carbide is just baking it into a ripened stage and there is one very famous uh, uh, writing of a poet that we have become so much material so much materialistic we are having conception that nowadays uh, poets uh, of this material world they are also material no philosophy is there mostly in their conception one poet his actually birth is there i always used to go there in yeah, the south calcutta there one place he has got birth there in one industrial place i will not speak his name i don't want to speak in industrial place he his uh, birth is like that what kind of person is like just like industrial he is in nature he is also material and his writing i have already written in i have already just uh, heard in the childhood i have become very much surprised that he written in bengali he is writing that the purnima moon moon of purnima if it's just like one kind of uh, one kind of uh, uh, burnt chapati then it can become uh, a very nice uh, meal for uh, all uh, the poor people i actually thinking that oh my god he is actually communist oh my god so much materialistic he is that is so much very nice uh, moon of purnima he is just uh, not at all taking the beautifulness of that and he is comparing that that one chapati it can come down so that we can take and so much greedy he is <laughs> so much greedy is just like cats and dogs he is that you are giving him uh, rice and chapati that's it so this is the actual condition nowadays lot of people lot of people uh, poverty can just get uh, vanquished 
and uh, definitely i'll be doing the vichar up till now today i'll be just giving rest up to this point and uh, uh, tomorrow just by your kripa and by bhagwat kripa only i'll be discussing that in front of you the actual in depth vichar i'll be just uh, go on doing that by the kripa of bhagwan mano evo mano evo manushanam karanam bandhano मनो एवो मनुष्वान कारण बंधो मुक्षयु बंधा विषया संगु मुक्त निर्विषय मन वाचकल्पतुर्वशिक्य पा सिंधु पति पापने भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमः